everybody, you're in Steve's Kitchen and today I'm going to make quarantine meatloaf. I went through my fridge and I found a bunch of stuff that could all be thrown together basically in a loaf. I figured why not take some comfort in a big bucket of meatloaf. Uh, I don't have a cameraman here, I'm obviously quarantined by myself in an utter state of loneliness and depression. But uh, working that out with some cooking. Get ready, grab a drink, uh, some wine. I suggest uh, Francis Coppola's red wine Cabernet Sauvignon, or even a tumbler of whiskey, which I always keep in my hand. So follow me along and I'll work you through this. First off, what we have is what I found in the fridge. Celery, green pepper, mushrooms, and just two wee bit carrots, garlic, and one big, beautiful onion. All right, so we have one onion cut in half. Leave this part on and I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna make cross hatches in this starting. So if that is your base, turn that here and you're gonna make slices all the way through. So we're going to turn it like so, so it has lines coming here. Then we simply hold the onion and cut. And then all we have to do is dice. is simply pour in these ingredients into the bowl, the beaten egg, and then we have salt. We're gonna need a lot of salt, so I'm just gonna basically pour in a lot of that. Hot pepper. And again, we're gonna need a lot of pepper. Uh, most traditionally, I guess people use breadcrumbs. Um, I don't fucking have any breadcrumbs because coronavirus. What I do have, from the cabinet is some oatmeal, organic oats and flax. So it will be healthy and organic. And uh, at this point, I'm going to tear this off like so, put it in the fucking loaf, okay? Can't stress enough, it's some lean appearance, Worcestershire sauce, and just fucking pour that shit on. Obviously we have one more step to do, and that is to put a beautiful, layer of um, meatloaf sauce on top. One quick caveat, um, I realized that in the um, coronavirus times, I've gone through a significant amount of ketchup already. Um, I was hoping I'd have about this much ketchup to make the base for this beautiful um, meatloaf. We've got two options. Uh, one, I could go out in the real world and try to get some ketchup. And while I'm there, I'm gonna probably pick up some more booze. Um, I went outside uh, in the real world um, and got this uh, ketchup. Um, and now I'm ready to begin making the sauce for the meatloaf to go on top. Um, this is a little over half a cup of ketchup. I'm going to pour it in the bowl. A little bit more than a tablespoon of mustard. Okay. And then, obviously, I put in uh, the ingredient I love the most. I always have in my cabinet, sriracha sauce. Um, you know, just make it as spicy as you want. So now this, I mm, can smell it. it, smells like high school cafeteria. And then taking this beautiful sauce and basically pouring it on top. 
of the loaf, like so. Get all that there. And then what I'm gonna do is just with my very clean hands, spread it. I'm just gonna crumble a little bit of white sugar on top of this, just to give it a nice, really nice crust, like so. Do you see that? Before it goes in the oven, I'm just gonna make sure that's nicely coated. Roast this in the oven for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes at about 380 degrees. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Do you see that right there? Oh, that crusty outside, the vegetables inside, and the meat, and the loaf. Mmm. You got the broccoli. Oh, that meatloaf. It's just a big bucket of fucking meatloaf. You, know, you can pull a lot of crazy shit together um, with the shit in your cabinet. And uh, that's what we need to do. Don't go outside as much as you can. Limit the grocery stores. Order from local businesses. Keep calm and carry on. Thank you.